Has Martin Scorsese been taking career advice from Johnny Depp? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Hugo. Taking career advice from Johnny Depp, Hugo is produced by none other than Mr. Depp himself, his very first producing effort along with this year's The Rum Diary and next year's Dark Shadows. But while we all know that tens of millions of dollars have convinced Depp to go mainstream, how did he convince Scorsese to join him? I mean, a family movie for Martin Scorsese? That sounds like something you'd say to get Joe Pesci's Goodfellas character all riled up. But no, it's true. And it's not just a family film, but in 3D. Well, the truth is that it's the material that attracted Scorsese. The invention of Hugo Cabret is a fantasy novel published in 2007 that draws on the work of turn-of-the-century French filmmaker Georges Méliès, as well as his fascination with mechanical wind-up figures called automata. In fact, half of the novel is illustrated and was the first novel to ever win the Caldecott Medal, which is for picture books. That certainly puts a lot of responsibility on Scorsese's shoulders as he adapts the novel to another visual medium. Now, while Johnny Depp doesn't join the fun, Sasha Baron Cohen takes his place as a highly animated station inspector and nemesis for the film's lead character, Hugo, an orphan in 1930s Paris. Ben Kingsley plays Méliès, Jude Law, Hugo's father, and Chloe Moritz, Hugo's friend. As for Hugo, he's played by Asa Butterfield, who you'd better get used to as he was just cast in the lead role in Ender's Game, a popular sci-fi novel coming to the big screen in 2013. So will Scorsese thrive in the mainstream as Depp has, or find himself repeating Robert Zemeckis' family movie follies? Let's go find out. So Brendo, you're a BTT viewer. You can't always yep. come out in the show. You came out today. How was Hugo? Uh, surprisingly, it was good. I love that. Yeah? It's my second favorite movie of the year. What's the first? Tree of Life. Ah. My daughter just went back to uh, Vienna where my son-in-law and my grandchildren are and so on. I needed something to lift my spirits. Oh, good. And okay. this really did the trick. <laughs> I thought it was great. Oh, good. Okay, well, the trailer looks a little ho-hum, you know, a little boring. How's, is the movie that bad? How? Uh, the, there are slow parts, uh -huh. but uh, I, I don't mind when a story takes a while to unfold. It's one of the worst trailers to one of the <laughs> best films of the year. Oh, wow. So what did the trailer get wrong? What did they miss it? Well, the trailer makes it look very sentimental, very mm -hmm. cloying, and it isn't. It earns its sentiment. And it's not a, a terrifically fast-moving movie in a way, but there are some very dramatic moments. The movie itself wasn't that good, but I think that the cinematography was great, the colors, the lightning, the, 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 it was rich of elements, you know, layers within the, the scene. So that added a plus. It was really about the, the love of film. Yeah. You know, Are you so. a film fan? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Even if you know nothing about who Georges Méliès was, even if you've never seen a silent movie before, you'll get caught up in the wonder of what's presented here. Because oh, wow. Martin Scorsese really presents it to you in a way that's accessible to everybody. And yet, for a film fan, it's, he makes it that much more appreciable. It's really different from anything I've seen him do. It, it reminded me of uh, Amelie, the French film. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it, it was, high praise. I, I like whimsical, I guess, is the best way I can, I can put it. There's also a cameo, which is funny. Is he in it? Scorsese? In it oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's also just wonderful fantasy, and the, the acting is wonderful, and the scenery is magical. Well, and who stood out of the actors? What actors? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I couldn't really choose just one. I had never seen, um, well, at least I don't think I've seen the kid who played Yuga before, mm -hmm. Asa Butterfield, but he really impressed me. Oh, wow. It's hard to find good uh, children actors, so the two kids were really good. Yeah. Uh, ben Kingsley's always great. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen kind of stole the movie. The cast ensemble was was great. Everyone did a great performance. I honestly have a little crush on uh, Chloe Moray's acting. Did she do a good she job? She was great. This movie was made for 3D, and you saw it in 2D. Were there any moments where it was like, oh, this is supposed to be in 3D? The opening credits, I definitely said, okay, this he's making this for 3D. Yeah. But honestly, once the, the opening 
scenes were done, I kind of forgot about the 3D. I find that free, 3D distorts the color, mm. and um, it it's almost too much in your lap. I'm sure um, because Scorsese always takes the visual seriously that um, this is not, you know, just a cheap knockoff like so many of the 3D movies being made are. Well, so I'm sure people will be able to appreciate it in 3D, but even if, like me, you saw it in 2D, you'll still be able to appreciate oh, it. Oh, good. Go see it if you have a free morning, uh, but I'm sure there are many other, uh, many other movies that out there that are much better, but it's still enjoyable. I mean, it's not going to be for, for everyone, but um, I think if, if you love film, um, mm -hmm. I think it's a good movie. I think uh, if you like something a little quirky, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm able to be a child and a grown-up at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I think if you can't do that, you might as well not go. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? Uh, I'd give it a 10. Maybe a 7. I would give it a... 7.5. I would give it 10. So while audiences might be divided on whether or not Hugo is a masterpiece, in the end it averages out to an 8.5, meaning Martin Scorsese's reputation is intact. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AM's Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.